Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Midday. I'm Melanie Lawson reporting from home, and here is your news update on this Monday. Several states are taking steps to reopen. In fact, over the weekend in Georgia, salons, retailers, other businesses, including things like tattoo parlors and bowling alleys, they all reopened over the weekend. South Carolina and Oklahoma also lifted some of their restrictions. And businesses in Arkansas, Colorado, Mississippi, and Montana all reopened today with social guidelines and other restrictions in place. In California, though, people headed to the beach in droves for the first time in weeks making it literally impossible to social distance there. Well, meanwhile, Harris County's mandatory mask order goes into effect today, and that means everyone 10 years old and older is required to wear a mask or some kind of covering over their face when they're out in public. In fact, failure to do so could result in a fine up to $1,000, although we, uh, Mayor Sylvester Turner has instructed his officers to educate violators rather than ticket them. That order, by the way, expires in 30 days at the end of May. Well, here at home, uh, people were allowed back onto the beaches of Galveston, but it also came with some restrictions. Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Ealing was there and files this report. People were on the beach very early and with good reason. You had to get here between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. That's when the beaches were open. Sunrise on Galveston Island, this time with people in the picture. You missed the beach, you know. Dax James was one of several hundred people who made their way to Galveston beaches to take advantage of their first opportunity to walk along the shore since the stay at home orders went into place. I think people need to be able to get out a little bit. Uh, as long as people are responsibly social distancing, I don't think there's a problem. This was the first time in weeks anyone was allowed to experience a stroll next to the water, but visitors had to get here between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. Ali Azidi and his family left a message for his mom's co-workers who were not able to get here themselves. And she was going to write, um, take a picture of it and post it for all her co-workers to see. Ali and his family were ready to walk the shoreline after weeks of having to stay home. We really got tired of um, being home and we thought since um, the beach is opening up, it would be a great chance to come out and just get out of the house and get some fresh air. The rules for enjoying the beach are simple. Stay on the move. Walkers, joggers, swimmers, surfers, they're welcome to spend time here today. You can even fish, but as you can see, no blankets or umbrellas allowed. You can't set up any picnic areas. I think that's good and it, you know, promotes the social distancing and whatnot. Um, but I do think it's a good idea for people to get out and at least have a chance to get some fresh air somewhere else. Mason and Emily Eustace didn't mind following the new rules as long as they had a chance to do something different. Oh, we've been cooped up and we can only walk around our apartment complex so many times. So <laughs> need a little change of scenery. The beach is closed right at 9 a.m. and it's going to be that way for the foreseeable future. The people who are on the beach today say they don't mind. On Galveston Island, Jeff Eland, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Well, now that Congress has reloaded the Payment Protection Program, or PPP, with billions more dollars, small businesses can once again apply for loans to help keep their employees on the payroll. That online system being used by banks went online this morning, and by the way, it's expected to be uh, quickly uh, used by so many businesses. But this time the loans are for small businesses and there are new strict restrictions in place to prevent larger businesses from getting any money. You may remember that controversy the last time around when some uh, very large uh, companies were able to get money. Well, the spaceship that could one day take humans to the moon and far beyond to Mars passed an important test we want to tell you about. SpaceX founder Elon Musk was at that testing facility near Brownsville last night. The Starship SN4, which you can see here in the night sky there, passed the cryogenic proof test. And that means the Starship can withstand high pressure caused by very cold fuel. That's a major issue in space. Previous prototypes have failed this same test, so it's a big deal that this time around they were able to pass. Elon Musk says he hopes Starship will establish a human settlement on Mars someday. So uh, we could see folks in Mars, who knows, in the not so distant future. Well, that's it for the midday. We hope you have a wonderful Monday. The weather is great out there today. And we'll see you this afternoon, beginning at 3 o'clock on air and all day long online at abc13.com. Have a great day.